are dead last in the nation, behind all states and the District of Columbia. One in five residents in Washoe County are dealing with a diagnosable mental illness. One in 10 suffer significant impairment to health and well-being due to alcohol and drug use. Thanks to a $6 million gift over the next five years, this will help us establish the Institute, which is at Renown Health, the way in which we engage further with the community's health and healthcare needs. My son died of an overdose five years ago. He was 29. I, as a mother, can trace it back to maybe even before he was two. The need is high. The, the actual funding and attention that's given to those that are especially affected by addiction is, is underfunded. It's, it's not in a place where it needs to be for people to, to survive addiction, but just to live a, a healthy, good life while battling with addiction. Support from donors like the Mathesons to keep our partnerships going from a screening perspective, from a treatment perspective, from a recovery perspective, and also importantly, to find the root causes of what leads to behavioral health and addiction problems through research. You don't measure us on how great our economic development successes are, the companies, it's how we take care of the most vulnerable amongst us. I think that's what measures the heart of a, of a community, and today this is emblematic of all of that. We'll be consolidating both of our behavioral health clinics into one building, um, which will be much more convenient for patients needing to come to see, seek the services. So on the first floor, we'll have our intensive programs. We'll have intensive outpatient program and partial hospital program. And these are programs that are great for people who maybe need a little more support than just seeing their psychiatrist once a month, they're seeing their counselor once a week, they're, they're struggling a little more than that. And then on the second floor will be our outpatient therapist. Stacy's story helps people see that it can touch anyone and that helps so important before things come to a tragic end. To get a wonderful donation, six million dollars will catalyze our ability to really raise the awareness and tackle this in ways that we just frankly haven't been able to do before this. The other thing I'm really excited about is when one person steps up and makes an investment like Stacy and Chuck Matthewson are doing, others join and they come along and realize that, boy, this is really important. The fact that it's actually going to be available and a, a, an actual um, institution that people can walk into by the end of this year and have screening and have re and access to care, that is going to save lives. and I. We all know that anytime a life is saved, your heart is better.